chilly morning today. I've been splitting my own kindling because it's uh, so wet out here, just the ground is just sodden. Um, but wanted to get out and do some beef ribs. That's going to be my lunch today. It's going to take a couple of hours, so I can do some odd jobs in the meantime. But I uh, need to get this fire going to start. Okay, that's some uh, fatwood shavings. first cupper of the day. <laughs> Trying out some of the steak detectives new tea. Got some hot chocolate as well. Looking forward to that on the next camp. All right, I'm going to finish this, let that get to some coals and uh, get proper cooking. All right, it's time to get the Dutch oven over the fire, get that warming up. And this is what we're using today. I've got two beef ribs here. So I'm going to fry them and brown them off before I add the rest of the ingredients to the pot. Add that oil in. I've got a few things for the pot here. Got a massive onion. <laughs> Can't actually find my bigger opener, so still using this small one for the moment from my little transier kit. Okay, just gonna slice this up. Just peeled a couple of cloves of garlic and now I'm going to grate them in as the onions fry so as not to burn them. Here we go in with the onion. Give that a fry off. In goes that grated garlic. Get that mixed in. beef ribs. A couple of sprigs of rosemary. Got some tomato puree I'm putting in there. This is some Merlot <laughs> or Shiraz Merlot. And to that some beef stock. that in a bit. It's going to stew for a while anyway. And on with our lid. They say only cook with wine you would drink. I don't drink wine so I've got the cheapest bottle. <laughs> but it's going to be fine for this. Now, one thing I probably would have done in hindsight is floured them beef ribs before I um, browned them off. That would help thicken the sauce. 
but I can thicken that afterwards anyway. We'll find a way. Sun's actually starting to uh, come out between that and the fire and warming up. That beef's going to take a while to cook, so I thought I'd bring out a couple of tents with me to have a quick look at. They're both one tigress ones, and they're called the Tetras. Um, there's two different sizes of them. This one requires a trekking pole, they're ultralight tents, and the other one's got its own pole and dinner. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd give them a little go and see what they're like. It's always good to see sewn in instructions with these tents because it can be quite a while in between uses. So, a little refresher on how to put it up. Well, I believe they call this the 130 because of the height you need the pole at. And that's good because my poles at least, that's their maximum comfortable height. Um, they're two person tents. And it looks quite comfy. I've not put out the guys so the walls aren't being pulled right out. But it's got this um, pretty interesting uh, vent at the back. So as you can see they've got these spreader bars at the back which um, pulls it up and gives you more room inside but it's got this big vent the whole length of the tent there and you can see that vent on the inside here as well you can unclip it there I haven't got all the information with me today but um, this one I think is um, about the one kilo mark which is pretty impressive now obviously you're gonna need some kind of ground sheet unless you're somewhere very dry and you're pretty comfortable with putting your mat down there but um, yeah Looking forward to getting this out on the moors or something, maybe in a couple of weeks. This is the 160 version. I've just noticed the doors come completely off, so if you wasn't fussed about closing up, you could um, just leave that at home or you could take it off while you're at camp if you wanted to. The vents are on both sides. You've got pockets in both of them actually, in the kind of porch area. And of course this one, being a bit bigger, has the inner as well. I think it's about two kilos. So let's see how to get in. Nice free zip design so you can get in and out either side you want. Well, bags of room. For two people in here, mm bit of a tight squeeze the other one being more open you've got more options but this being an inner like uh, if you've got quite narrow mats or maybe like a double one that's quite narrow you'd have to be close with the person but uh, for me I use um, two-man tents solo got that same vent design at the back there and that higher back so it opens it up yeah of course this isn't a review or anything this is just me playing around while dinner cooks but uh, I will review them after I use them and I'd really like to get out with them soon because I do quite like them. Oh, hangy loops on top as well so you can use a tripod or a tree. Yep, that's cooking away nicely. I thought I'd just give you a shot of them both next to each other if you're curious about them. But uh, both seem to have their advantages. Put a bit of chicken on the meat. Look at that pulling back off the bone nicely. A little ways to go yet though. Well I've got my spuds and it's about time I started peeling them. I'm gonna do some mashed potato with my beef ribs. Now I could have just got instant mash, there's some really good ones now like that. I had a hoen but uh, I wanted to do it properly. It's a relaxing day out. No rush with this one. Just gonna nestle this in the coals.
potatoes are boiled. Gonna add in some butter and some seasoning. Just seasoned the um, meat as well. And I've got a normal masher with me. I really need to get a uh, potato ricer. We're on the home stretch now, so I'm just gonna chop up some parsley. Most of the big stalks taken out. Gonna get this pan on. Take off the Dutch oven. I'm gonna pour some of that sauce in here to reduce. Okay, first up is our mashed potato. Get a nice bed of that down. We'll put on a few of our onions one two beef ribs some of our parsley and finally some of that sauce reduced oh my goodness <laughs> Now I've not tested these at all to see how tender they are. Let's see. Well, they're pretty tender. I would have left them a tad longer, but uh, time's getting on. Mmm, pretty tender actually. Yeah, it will pull. Try some of that mash with it. Mm. Very creamy and buttery. Yeah, you can see that can pull. Mm. It's pretty melt in the mouth actually. I'm pretty happy. Now, if I was on an overnighter, I might give it another half an hour, but uh. That'll do nicely. And it's about lunchtime. Worked out well. Well, man, that was good. <laughs> Eating restaurant food in the woods. Tender beef. Right, that's me packed up. I'm going to head off now. Don't forget to get your poppy. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.